us today. How are you? I'm fantastic, Con Marilyn. Congratulations on that, on you being the Thank head of you. it. That's great. fabulous. I feel like Cinderella with the glass slipper. Mm -hmm. I am in the right job. She's I love, a, and we have such a great team at Fashion. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's wonderful. Well, we saw the uh, Oscars last night, at least uh, some of us saw most of them. And, you know, we always talk about the women's fashions. Yes. And, you know, you know, I did look at some of the suits last night, but we're really going to take a look at the suits I today. I have never looked at the men at the Oscars closer than I did last <laughs> night because I knew I was coming here and I knew I had to bone up on it. Yeah. But there was a great mix of looks last night. There was yeah. a lot of single-breasted, a lot of double-breasted, but... Most men stayed with the classic tuxedo look, which I thought was really, really smart. Yeah. Because if an uh, invitation says black tie, that's what you need to do. You yeah. really need to stick to the program and go with black tie. I didn't realize that there were so many different jackets, though, you know? They, well, there are, but yeah. single-breasted, double-breasted, yeah. both of them are, are fine. We saw a mix of them last night. Yeah. All that means is the double-breasted is folded over, and the single-breasted does not. The, okay, well, the, let's take a look at some pictures. Uh, like, for okay. example, single-breasted Gerard Butler, who can look good in a sack, as far as I'm concerned. But, yeah. you know, that <laughs> is... Most of these the, guys. There's that, there's that single-breasted. Really very yeah. nice, very slim, trim, elegant look. And Lovely. Double-breasted with... A lot of men can wear that. Right. And, yeah, double-breasted. I don't know that a lot of men can wear double-breasted. Do you? I think it all depends on fit. And as long as a, a, a garment fits properly then it's going to look okay. Yeah. And you don't want bunching anywhere. You want the sleeve to hang perpendicular to the floor. Yeah. You want the, the jacket should always um, cover the bottom. Uh, and uh, there should be a little bit of shape through the waist. And, but the and coat has to stay the, closed, though, to, to give it its really good shape. It should, yes, yeah. it should. But but you can undo a single-breasted jacket. Right. Double-breasted looks better. Did we show not. the double-breasted already with Ryan Gosling? Because I can't see. Did we? Do we get a confirmation on that? Okay, uh, Zac Efron in the stroller. Well, I like him a lot. With the stroller jacket, but I'm not no, really... No, that, that's a little bit longer jacket. Uh, okay. So, and he's wearing that with a vest. And that's a good look, too. His pants look a touch narrow there. It's hard yeah. to see. I couldn't really see. Yeah. The other important thing about the pant length is that it should break just a little bit in the front. It shouldn't be all bunched up. Um, it should so. just hit the top of your shoe and have one little break, and the, the back of the pant should fall straight. For, yeah. I see a lot of these people, you know, a lot of these people, a lot of these guys, everything's bunched up at the ankle. That's and that's not, not the really what you want. That's no, no, not what no, you want. because that can make your legs look, especially if a man has heavier legs, not a good thing. Tailcoat, yeah, yes. tailcoat, Prince Harry. Here okay. we go. Well, he looks just great. Now, yes. Now, he looks great. The, tail, the tails are a very specific thing that you want to be wearing. Um, if it's a morning coat, before 6 p.m., that's the other thing about the tuxedo, forgot okay. to say. Yeah. After 6 p.m. is the classic notion of a tuxedo okay. and of tails. But the morning coat, which is more of a cutaway, that, that actually is like a morning coat. Yeah. So uh, tails sure. yeah. is, is straight across and down, right. like you might see a symphony conductor wear. Yes, exactly. Yes, so that's to be worn after 6 p.m. And of course, these are very old rules that you can bend the rules. Best dressed people bend the rules, they don't break the rules. That's but right. there are certain standards that we want to stick to. Well, let's, we're going to start with a fashion show right now, courtesy of Harry Rose, and we're going to show you three great looks, and that means there are men on the show today. Here we go. Let's start that fashion show right now. All right. Nothing like a man in a really great suit. Now, when you think about black tie, there's one, one key tenet to keep in mind is black means black and white. That comes from the old classic idea of wearing tails, uh, white shirt, white tie and tails yep. to the opera, which is what wealthy Europeans used to do in the 18th and 19th century. And that's where the whole idea of formal dress came from. So black and white are the basic tenets of formal wear. This gray suit, beautiful suit, beautiful I would not suit. call this formal. I would, if you were invited to a black tie event, I would not wear this. However, it's perfect for a daytime wedding, a garden wedding, yeah. a backyard wedding. 
Now here's an interesting alternative to a tuxedo where we've got black on black on black and That's we saw nice. a number of men wearing this at the Oscars last night. Uh, some men were wearing it with a black tie, others uh, uh, here this gentleman is not. Yeah. But, um, but this could be a variation. This is bending of the rules. Okay, let's get Wayne up here first. And Wayne, you're wearing, you don't know this, Wayne, but you're wearing a James Franco modern, simple, inspired suit. So let's take a look at James Franco. James Franco You look more awake than he did yes. last night, Wayne, is what I want to say. But there you go. James Franco's known to wear things like this, and it's a great suit. Well, it's a modern interpretation, again, of the classic black tie. So you think black and white. He's kept the black and white. He also has a very... Uh, dressy tie. He's wearing a satin tie, and uh, so that's a very and the skinny pant and, and a see, slim pant. Yes, see where the break, break in the leg is, everybody. Little see break. where the break is yes. right there. Little Just break. one break. Yeah. Beautiful. Thanks, Wayne. You look great. Okay. Wonderful. And then Edwin, you are inspired by. Javier Bardem, and we're going to tell you, and you know, you don't look anything like him, but you're just as handsome. Oh, How's that? Javier wa wore this, I think it was at Cannes, and it was obviously a daytime look, again, yes. not black tie, black tie's for after six. Here's a beautiful I suit, love again, suit. for a daytime backyard wedding, or... That's Hugo um, Boss, by the way, beautiful suit. It is, it is gorgeous. Really but good. But if, if your invitation says black tie, this isn't the one you wear. No, but this is a great suit. When, it's, you know, a it's a fabulous suit. Do you know suit. what, Bernadette, it's almost like that in-between, when you, you know, it's not complete casual, it's not your, you know, Jersey Shore sweatshirt, but it's, you know, when you know you have to go someplace, what a great suit. It's That'll a, carry this you a lot of places. A, oh, absolutely. Yeah. This yeah. is a great, great suit. Thanks, Edwin. Great Thank you. Great multi-purpose. Yeah. Kenneth, you are inspired by my favorite, Colin Firth, oh. who I love. And yes. where is my husband? There he yes. is. Isn't yes. that, okay, I love that. I love that. And that's Tom Ford, which, uh, of course, uh, Colin Firth wears all the time. Yes, yeah. and here's a perfect example of yeah. bending the rules, where he doesn't have a bow tie, yeah, but he's still got a very elegant look, which could work for day or for evening. So this suit also would take him a lot of places. And he's wearing a vest. Black? Is that navy and black? That's a, I think it's a two-tone black, actually. Gorgeous. It's a shadow, shadowy stripe. Can you open up your jacket But for he's me? got a vest on, and the vest wow. is really making a comeback. It's a fabulous look. It adds a little bit of formality. One of the uh, other key tenets of black tie is to cover your waistband. You never want your waistband to show. That's why men wear cummerbunds, and, uh, or they wear a vest, and, or they wear the double-breasted jacket closed. I see. The more formal uh, look is no waistband showing. Okay, one thing before we say goodbye to you, thank you so much, by the way, you all look so great. Is that, yeah, is that, you know, and I, I don't want to forget that first suit was a Zegna suit, by the way, beautiful. What I want to say, too, is the suit, you know, we, lay, as women, we change shapes and, and all the time, and men do, too. And yes, it's really important, even if you have got a great suit, to encourage your boyfriend or your husband to take a look at a suit and really, like, retailer it because it makes all the difference. And there was, we true. talked about it this weekend because we ran into each other. Like, the big, if there's a big gape when the door, when the, when the, uh, Bunching. Bunching in the back is not good, yeah. Yes. No, rumples and ruching and all of those details are great for women's dresses, not in a man's suit. You want everything to be as smooth clean. as possible, smooth and clean, and that will make the man look slimmer. It doesn't matter what size he is. Right. If the garment looks like it's perfectly sculpted, there's no bunching or pulling or pulling at the pocket, right. it's going to look like it fits, and it's going to give the illusion that he's slimmer than he is. Find a good tailor. Thank you so much okay. for coming in. Hope to see you again. Thank okay, you. we're going to take a break. We're going to come up with some makeup blunders. I know, but we'll fix them right after this.